guys, this is Ileana. I am recording this video for the second time. I am trying to do my 2017 Ipsy yearly review. And um, this is going to be of all the products that I received in 2017, which actually is not entirely accurate because some products I have either thrown away before I came up with this idea or I have given away because I wasn't super into it and knew someone else could like it a lot more. So the products that I have with me, which is a lot, a lot of makeup guys, I tried to film this video and it did not work out. So I decided to completely restart and this video for sure is going to be in separate parts. <laughs> So I'm just going to show you some of this and I'm going to upload this different, I don't even know how many parts I'm going to make this, two, three parts, I don't freaking know because this is really freaking long. But let's get into it guys. So I guess of which I'm actually going to start with today is a few of the bags that I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I only have six bags. Um. So I don't even, I don't even know where some of them have went, honestly. I am just going to jump into it and start with, I, I think I'd have to say is my absolute favorite bag that I received from them. Ipsy did a collaboration with Sanrio, and I love Sanrio. They do Hello Kitty, Bats Moreau, Kuropi, um, Twin Stars, My Melody, all that good stuff. I love them. They had a recently new character. They have like so many characters, but one of their recent characters was Gudetama, who is this adorable freaking egg. And I feel like anytime Sanrio um, does a collaboration with someone, they always make sure that their stuff is legit because I feel like the quality of this bag is even much higher than the other bags that they have. So maybe I shouldn't have started off with this, but I am going to just tell you up front that I love the character, the way it looks. The bag itself feels like really nice quality. It honestly does. The zipper is heavier and sturdier feeling. It glides a lot easier when you open it. I use this bag on and off because I like it so much I don't want it to get messed up because the inside is yellow and it is <laughs> dirty on the inside now but I still want to use it because it's really freaking cute. But so this has to be probably my most favorite bag. I mean, even coming from Sanrio, I really like them. So onto a bag of which I wasn't too big on, but it was cute because I appreciate the theme of it, which was for Halloween. This bag was vampy as they've described it. Um, so it has like a kind of a dark blood color going on. And it, I do like that it has more of a lace print to it instead of an actual lace overlay of it because that would get caught onto things. So I like how they came up with that. And it's kind of a floral lace going on. And what I think is super cute is this bat zipper that they have right here. So super cute. Went with the October Halloween theme. So I appreciate it for the theme. The bag is just not, it's not totally my style. I was kind of hoping for something like not as glam, but it makes sense because it's makeup. You know what I'm saying? But so opening it, the zipper is definitely, it's not bad quality, but it's definitely not as great quality as um, the Sanrio bag. But so the inside is black. I like this one. So onto this bag. This one is says Peace Love Lipstick. When this bag came out, um, you had three options of which you did not know which one that you were going to get. Uh, I don't I don't remember what the other options were, but there's this one. It's kind of like this pink orangey, pink orangey like sunset looking color, and it says lipstick in a sparkly. So it's very cute. Not totally me. I didn't um, use this bag very often. It's just been in a drawer. But um, I do like the gold tassel on it, and it has a pink zipper. You open it up, it's pink on the inside. Cute bag. This one, didn't really care much for this one. This bag, when you received it, also came with two different options. The other option was blue, and I do not like the color blue. So I am very glad that I did receive this one. Kind of has like this bronzy 
um, color going on up here in this mustard yellow. Very simple bag. I forgot what the theme of this one was, but um, not too thrilled over this bag. Not big on it. I do have to say that these bags are come in different uses. There was this YouTuber that actually had some of these bags and they said that they liked to use them when they were traveling, that they put other items besides makeup in them, like money, etc. Um, it's something that's not so completely obvious for when you're traveling. But, um, so I actually do use them. I will have multiple of these bags in my purse that I'm carrying for the time because I will use them for different things. So onto this bag, which I think is one of the nicer bags that they have, and this was the December 2017 bag is this one right here. It is super winter themed. I really appreciate that. It's super sparkly, super cute. It's silver. I like the sparkliness right here. The only thing that I don't like is that it's more blue versus a green mint of what I ever think about. They said that this bag was mint colored and I kind of feel like it, it's more on the blue side. I, whenever I think of mint, I think closer to a green. So, I'm, eh, I really don't like the color blue, guys. So much so that, like, I'm not into this bag. But for anyone, I can see a lot of people liking this bag. I thought it was super cute for what it was. Just not for me. Now, the last bag that I have with me, I don't know how I've misplaced so many of them. I should have ten. And that means I have four somewhere. But this bag is really funny, honestly, because the design of it, the, the design of it is cute, but the concept wasn't totally executed, I feel like, because I feel like it needed a magnet right here so it would clasp, clasp down like that. But I'm not complaining because, honestly, like, even though, like, the majority of their bags are, like, this size, see how they're... They were going for that look so you fold it over and it's the same size like this bag just doubles as being a bigger bag if you needed a bigger bag you know so that was really convenient um actually funny because i have not received my january ipsy but it will be coming soon and if i saw correctly it looks like they're using the same mesh that's on this bag for the january bag so that's kind of like lame I don't know it's all it's all right it's all good the bags are really cute and they're put together really nicely I checked out the seams they're not falling apart I really like them now the thing that I was comparing the Sanrio bags zipper to is because this one especially for example you can't see it um, because my camera will not focus but I did use this bag more often than not when I first received it and then even when I just had it in my drawer with the rest of the bags this one um, the the zipper is already like pretty beat up like it's a little dented it's a little like um, rubbed off the rose gold color that's going on there so that's why I was comparing the Sanrio bag quality to the other ones but they're very cute I like them so the next product which is the first and only nail product that I received from Ipsy um this was when I had changed up my Ipsy uh what I what I want what I'm interested in when you sign up for Ipsy you uh fill out this thing like I like eyeshadows I like eyeliners I want fun colors I only want neutral colors I want hair products I want face products that sort of thing um nail products now I did not want nail products because I am a barista and I am not supposed to wear nail polish to work and I don't really feel like like putting it on on my day off and then having to take it off like that makes absolutely no sense for me but this color, when I received it, although, like, I, I only, like, tested it out on my fingernail and that was it. I should really paint my toes because this color is actually so cute and it stuck on my nail for such a long time. Like, it didn't chip. I left it on my nail for I don't know how long, basically until my nail grew out. Like, this product is actually really good. Pretty Woman Nail Polish. Um... 
I don't know what color this is, but it says not tested on animals. And if you come across this product, I highly recommend it because I just did not have a problem with it. And funny enough, here I am. I'm going to actually show you the freaking color of it again because it was super pretty. This is one swipe of it. So it you're going to have to let it dry and then obviously apply another coat of it. But I love the color. I thought it looked amazing on me. Um, I don't remember if I got this in my October, but anyways, I, I've only received one nail polish and I really don't want to receive any more because I really can't wear nail polish anyways. But um, yeah, I actually highly recommend this because it didn't chip. It lasted forever until my nails grew out and the color's super pretty. They don't test on animals. All about it. <laughs> so I guess trying to move on to mascara Why uh, I am filming this section of this video guys <laughs> i think i have received four or five mascaras which i actually really like because whenever i receive a new one and they're only sample sizes um so you don't feel bad for throwing out your mascara um you're supposed to change it out more often than not and whenever I receive a new one then I throw out the old one and I can have like okay makeup to wear right so I'm going to go ahead and start with the one that I'm actually wearing today this is the newest one that I had of which I do not recommend guys this is Rodile Glamo Lash Mascara Extra Extra Large I wear mascara just to complete my makeup so that my lashes are you know they fit in with my makeup but this mascara doesn't do much else for me besides coloring my lashes so I'm just showing you my lashes here so you can see what they look like I don't know if you can really tell um I didn't really feel like they gave me much length or volume just like the usual like mascara ness that they want that they advertise for you know what I'm saying but this is the brush again um, I think I received this in last month's bag, so if you saw that, you're going to see, this is just a repeat item of what you have seen recently, but um, after using it for about a month now, um, I don't recommend it to buy. I don't know what the price point of this product is, but it's not something I'm interested in rebuying unless maybe it was like five dollars or something like that because that's usually the price point of mascaras like between five and yeah around five dollars for like drugstore makeup. Um, I don't know how much this one is but if it's higher than that I would not rebuy it. Um, it's just good for coloring my eyelashes as I've said. Now, I do have to give it props because versus this product right here, this is one of the first mascaras that I have. And um, the reason why I still have it is because I thought of the idea to do this video like many months ago. So this is Superhero It Cosmetics. I would recommend this one over this one. And the reason why is because I originally gave this mascara a good review, but, um, it makes your lashes look long and full and pretty and then i realized over time while you're wearing it like the mascara starts to clump off and fall into your eyes and that's not good you don't want makeup falling into your eyes and like irritating you and getting stuck and um that's just really not good and it's really disappointing because anytime like you know i tried to wear it over time and be like maybe it's not gonna do that today but that's kind of silly of me to think that way because uh, it did. So um, I was super glad to receive a new mascara. When I found out that I was receiving a new mascara, I was just like, thank you. I can get rid of this one because, um, yeah, I don't know. I've had this one for months now, so maybe they've um, redone the formula or something like that. I wonder if anyone has anyone else has experienced that problem with it but that's like super disappointing because other than that I like the way it looked um it's just that you cannot have products falling into your eyes that's really bad um so I would not recommend it for you to buy and it cosmetics is at Sephora I've seen this in the Sephora store I don't know how much it runs for but I'd imagine it runs for about 18 dollars if not more 
So, going to this one, Ico Black Magic Mascara Drama and Curl. I actually do recommend this one over the two that I've showed you. And, um, mind you, I told you that I might have received... Look, I've got a hair on my face. I might have received maybe five mascaras and two of them that I do not have with me. So I'm only showing you three. But I really, really like this mascara. And this is for people who appreciate the more natural looking makeup. It makes your lashes look really long. It does really curl your lashes. It doesn't give it that full volume look that some people want, like glam lashes. It's not going to do that. It's really good for having that... Um, natural look I feel like which I really like on a day-to-day -day basis and this is the brush I really enjoyed this one um there's not much product in these obviously because they're small so I feel like obviously the products are already like dried up and um dried up or run out and I haven't used it for quite some time because of that obviously um which I'm so sad about because I actually really really like this one and um I did receive one or two other products from Ico. I only remember one of them of which I don't have to show you, so that's what I'm telling you right now. I received an eyeshadow stick, and the product was good for what it was, but I'm not into eyeshadow sticks. I don't like the application of them, so if you know you're into the application of eyeshadow sticks, then uh, you should go find Ico and try their eyeshadow sticks because I like the product for what it was, but it wasn't for me and not something that I would repurchase. So if you see this i really like it which actually i don't think the full size bottle looks like this i think this was just an idea for their sample size but that's all fun and all right so going into eyebrow makeup i am actually wearing this product on my eyebrows right now now i apologize for my eyebrows not being on fleek in my opinion because i am still trying to master the eyebrow application right but this is city color bold brow now this isn't anything like super fancy probably something that's like five dollars at the drugstore um they're cruelty free so that's always fun large majority of ipsy products are going to be cruelty free this color is in medium i think the color is good for me i do mix the light and dark shade to get what i have now and i use an um eyebrow brush to apply my makeup this one actually which i think is just nice for people who like don't have all the um you know makeup tools and whatever this one actually comes with like a decent um little application brush uh, of which i have tested out when i first got this product i tested it out with a little brush and it was it was decent enough to apply the makeup so that was really nice for what it is um i do use this more on like more usual than for the makeup that i've received right now onto this makeup i had no idea what this was and i looked it up nomad um i know i've seen some youtubers receive nomad products this is also cruelty free i'm going to tell you like one thing that was really good about this is that it smells like chocolate like it smells so freaking good but unfortunately this color was Brunetta Brillante, and it was way too light for me. Like, I did not like, like, even just using the dark color by itself, it did, I didn't like the way it looked on my eyebrows. So, th this, eye, this eyebrow makeup is actually really sparkly. I don't know if you can tell, but it, you will have sparkly eyebrows that smell like chocolate if you use this product so that's fun and all right guys but um not for me unfortunately i have this now and uh it's one of the very few products that i haven't been able to use so people are always concerned about like oh i didn't get my money's worth because i didn't like any of the stuff that was in my bag um i don't experience that very often fortunately so i have even even with products that I wasn't expecting to like, the more I used them, I was just like, okay, I'm learning how to use this. This is all good. So, unfortunately, this is the only one because it doesn't, um, it was way too light for my eyebrows. Now, onto the third 
eyebrow product that I have, of which is my favorite out of the three because it's very interesting. This, <laughs> I did not realize, was the cap of it. This is the cap. I love packaging. It's super cute. I'll probably talk more about that later, but this is Trestic mini brow pencil in the color espresso now it has this cute tip cap and then you pop it off and then the product's right here guys like that's the product the color is really great for me the color goes well with my like hair and complexion and all that goodness um that's the product if you can see it it's it it goes back and forth like i like it for light traveling when I'm carrying my makeup and I don't feel like carrying this and a makeup brush. I like this because you don't have to carry a makeup brush with you. I felt like it was easy to apply. A lot of people in the reviews did not like this product at all, but I gave it good reviews for what it was. Um, so this is like just a different product. Like if you're kind of just like, that's kind of interesting. I kind of want to try it. I'm into like daring products. Um, I would recommend you recommend to you to um try that one out guys so i think i'm going to try and make these the last items that i show to you so i can end this video because these videos are going to be so long guys um i actually if you could tell because i told you i re-swatched um I, I had swatched them already for me trying to film this the first time but so this I don't know you can tell the quality of that sorry for my cat attack but cats um this product I was super disappointed in because I originally gave it really good reviews and now that I'm telling you now which is the whole point of me doing this video is um I have to unfortunately give it a bad review now because this is a liquid coal waterproof liquid liner it is vegan GMO free gluten free not tested on animals it is seraphine botanicals like any like the packaging is kind of cute I'm not totally into it but it's black and it has pink butterflies in it I like black I like the color pink not big on butterflies but it's cute um sucker for packaging and this product was advertised for really easy um, cat eye application, which I totally agree with. Like, I'm not into cat eye, but I tested it out just for the sake of it. And for someone who travels with, who has troubles applying eyeliner, this was super easy. The only unfortunate thing was that this product was a great idea that was poorly executed because it dries out way too fast. Now, obviously, I've had this product for months now and it's just been sitting in my drawers and it obviously still works because this is the eyeliner from it um i guess when you're using the eyeliner though the problem is that it dries out while you're using it and like i've tried shaking it like different ways and like the ink just won't come out which is so sad and um yeah it has such great potential to be a great product when i first used it like it was amazing and then as I was trying to use it like days on like it just dried out and it was so sad but obviously there's still product in there but it's having trouble getting out so I, d I haven't seen this anywhere in stores I don't know if you have to order it you go to different stores I don't know where this is provided for people to buy but if you see this be wary of it um it's so sad because I want to, it, it had great potential that did not reach its potential, unfortunately. Like, maybe it had something to do with the sponge tip that it needed to, like, be designed differently or the product just won't come out of it. Let me just, like, swipe that again. Like, see, look, it's, like, coming out and it, it was so comfortable. It's comfortable on my skin right now that I'm, like, it's so comfortable to wear and it was upsetting that it just did not hold up unfortunately so guys um i have received um quite a few um 
liner pencils from Ipsy of which I wasn't too excited because I just didn't care for them which I did go into my suggestion box whatever whatever and like checked off on like checked off on not wanting eyeliners anymore because I was receiving way too many and I wasn't into the look that they were recommending like a lot of eyeliner pencils that they have nowadays I guess um, a look that they're trying to go for is kind of like the throwback look of putting your eyeliner on and smudging it out and then having it dry so it sits there which it does do that um, all, all the pencils I, re I received an Urban Decay pencil I don't remember this other pencil what that was um, this is a Smashbox eyeliner gel pencil always on gel liner in the color fishnet this was described to do the same thing you put it on you smudge it out and then it stays there and it won't budge so you better smudge it out fast or it's gonna be stuck on your face um, I just look like a hot mess when I even try to do that I like to um, try and attempt the suggestions that they give to you on how to use the um, makeup um, so I mean it's a it's a black eyeliner pencil if you use black eyeliner and if you're into that look and you're good at doing that look um, the Urban Decay pencil of which I don't have with me um, if you check out my other Ipsy's and you find it in there um, I highly recommend it and this Smashbox um, again like this one's really good as well if you're into it you should go get it um, I do really like Smashbox so I was really happy to receive a Smashbox product I have some Smashbox products that I have bought on my own um, this one I do appreciate it seemed to be a slimmer product versus other eyeliner pencils that I had received in the past and so I do like that it was slimmer it was easier to apply uh, eyeliner that wasn't so thick and crazy um, obviously I need to sharpen it but um, yeah it was it was still I, I felt like it was still easier application even over the Urban Decay um, pencil that I received and another thing I'm just bringing it up because I don't have it on me I actually gave it away as a gift and she really liked it I'm super happy it just wasn't something for me Urban Decay is a really great brand um, including that pencil it was really great I also received an Urban Decay highlighter that was super popular this year and I was just like this is super cool that I received this product but it really sucks because I don't like highlighter like I even tried to use it and I was just like nah this ain't working for me like other people who were like super into the highlighter like go for it um, I forgot it was like tw I, I, it's 24 hour glow or something like that I forgot what the product exactly was called but it was an Urban Decay highlighter that I received from Ipsy and the product was amazing that glow was insane but um, it wasn't for me I gave it away as a gift she really liked it so you can get really great products from Ipsy which I have been super thrilled about I have enjoyed the large majority of Ipsy products that I've received um, so I mean I highly recommend Ipsy for what it is there may be some products that are hit or miss for you and maybe you don't totally like the bag that you're receiving either but uh, I have enjoyed it so much for what it is and like I have so many more products to show you guys and I'm gonna have to end it here because I know this video has to be like between 10 and 20 minutes depending on how I edit this video but um stay tuned guys like this video share this video subscribe so you know when my video is coming up because I upload every Sunday and um, I like to do makeup I like to be your average person I am NOT a makeup stylist I am NOT a makeup professional whatever you want to um, call their profession you know what I'm saying um, I'm just a day-to-day -day person who enjoys wearing makeup I am learning more about my makeup I am learning different ways to apply my makeup I like doing my makeup different ways so um, just stay tuned guys like welcome to my channel I hope you stay so uh, until another day guys bye